and England are very nearly there now. The skipper the ball. 22 runs required and uh, Adam Holyoke has gone for nine. He went for nine runs against Australia earlier today. 16 against Sri Lanka. So you would say, it's, uh, if you're a betting man, that uh, it favours England now in this situation. That's a very, very tough ask. That's not what he needed. Anything just beyond the uh, stumps on the next side, call a wide. He doesn't like it. It was a close call, but that makes the six balls into a seven ball last over. And yeah, now only 20 required. And Zahur Elahi has scratched around for just five runs up until this point. And he's found the boundary there. Well, suddenly the mood in the stadium has changed completely and it's the Pakistan supporters who are now beginning to believe once more 16 runs of five deliveries too wide he's not bowling the line he wants and straying once more and again it's got a hold of Elahi He's actually coming up with the goods here. And he's suddenly come to life. Now only 12 runs needed for victory. I say only. That's a four of every ball, but he's made this one into a six. Would you believe it? Pakistan then. Up to 65. Just six runs needed. And actually, if they get level on 70 it'll be good enough if they don't lose more wickets and that's more or less guaranteed it it's gone all the way and Hollyock has been uh, proven to be the most expensive bowler right when he didn't need it he's bowled admirably throughout the two days but he's getting clobbered in this final over just giving them a little bit too much width Pakistan were criticised as coming here with something of a patchwork side and that was the headlines when the team was announced he's a positive man is Adam Holyoke he needs to play positive now just to think draw himself in and keep it straight up it's Elahi who's come good here Oh, well, as much as the other end, it must be thrilled. And Brown has missed it. Wide ball! And a wide. And quite right too. And that's it. Three runs. Effectively, and what a disappointing way for it to finish for England. But what delight for Pakistan. After getting beaten comprehensively by England yesterday in the group format they've come back and won this title the second time in their history 70 a very good all-round performance and how they've improved through this tournament just like when they won the world cup well wasim akran on 30 not out there was another factor if uh, wasim akran had got a strike early in that final over he would have had to have sit, sat down but to really allah he had done nothing at the crease until that final over and really Hollyoke going for 23 runs that was a disaster after Buggy Brown and Fleming had done so well conceding just uh, 14 runs between them but, uh, a well-deserved victory in the end